Hello friends. So in today's session, I am going to explain you some Linux basic command, which one we are using in our day-to-day -day activity, especially when we are doing any storage kind of activity on Linux system. Okay, so first command, lsblk. So you can see once I hit enter, I am getting some output on my screen. In this output, you can see it, here it's saying name. So this is your device name. So in this output, you can see this is a device name. Here you will get the size, what is the device size. And you, here you will get the types. Here you will get the mount point. So what are the mount points are mounted on that device? So in as of now, in my screen, you can see it's a device name is SDA. One is dash DB and this is SR0. So SDA you can see here. So this is the what is this? So this is the volume VG, VG name. So you can see in SDA I have two VG, one is root, one is slab. And this size is for this VG, 4 GB, and this is M, in, in this swap is in MB. In this root, you can see here. I, I, in the swap, you can see uh, see here. I have mounted the swap mount point and the root. You can see I have mounted the root root that root, and one is a boot here. And this is SDB. So this is also device name. And the, in this device, I have only one VG. And this in this VG side is a five GB. And on this device, I have only mounted one mount point. That mount point name is a data. So you will get all the mount, like you suppose if you want to find in my device how many mount points are mounted, you can use this command lsblk, okay? There are multiple commands, but if you use this command, you will get the more details. Now, suppose I need to find this sdb uid. Actually, I need uid, so I want to know what is the uid for this device so they in this case you have to use blk id so once you hit enter you can see here you will get a device name and with the uid so what is our device name sdb so in sdb what is the volume group this is my volume group vg so you can see here this is my volume group and so this is my device and this is the uid so this device sdb device UID is this, okay? And here you will also get the which type of file system. So ext4, okay? Now, I want to show you more, one more thing. Suppose, like, you know, uh, you want to find the, what is the scan ID for this device, or for this device. So how you will find? So in that case, you want to, Install the one utility you can install here, study RPM, then you will get, or otherwise you can get, otherwise you can go to the your VM, uh, like uh, V Center, and you select your device, like like this, go to V Center, log into V Center with your credential, and then select, uh, select the VM. Okay, so for my case, I selected this VM, and then you go to the settings. So this is my old V Center like uh, old version in new in a new you will get the mode options available in your vcenter so here you will get the settings so click on the setting or else you write more click you get also setting and then edit setting and here you can see how many devices are mounted on your system also you will get here so in as of now when i once i run lsblk you can see i have two devices so if you go here, I have also two devices showing here. Okay, so I want to see what I, what is my SCSI ID. So you have to click here and then go down. Little bit, little bit go down here. So you can see here controller location. This is my SCSI controller and this is like my SCSI ID. So you know this will be very helpful when you doing to detach and attach okay a storage when you detaching from the v center and attaching this time we have to be careful 
you know so like wicket means you have to understand that device you when you detaching so what is your your sky id when you again attaching you have to attach the same sky id otherwise it will create the problem okay so this is the uh, like few commands and few information i want to share with you so i hope you like this video so please subscribe my channel please comment share it and thanks for you watching